Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so I am back tonight um, with a project and I've already got it started because it's going to be a little time consuming. So I got it started so it won't be so long to film. But what I'm making is a chipboard album and I've already got it started. So what I did is I bought a chipboard at um, Michael's and I'm covering it and I'm making it a little, a little uh, album. So anyway, um, let me just show you what I have done so far. So it has larger pages that go on the back. This is gonna be the back. And these pages like this go in the center. So as you can see where they, where they sit in the center. Now I've gone ahead and I have already covered all the center pieces in the back page um, with some designer paper. And I'm going to show you how I did this so I saved the front so I can show you how I do this. Okay, so let's start with the front. And let's see, I've already cut my paper. And what I did is I just took it, measured it on top of the, the chipboard and just kind of drew it off and just used my paper cutter and cut it. So that's what I did with that. So now... What I'm doing is I want the pumpkins to be on the front. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add some art glitter glue underneath. Make sure you get it up on the corners. Now this little book, it did have rounded corners, but I did not round them. Once I put the covers on, I just left them and I hope that they looked just fine. This is a Halloween themed chipboard album. That's what this is. So anyway, so there I got my glue on the back and I'm just putting it on the top of my the cover of the chipboard album. Make sure it's on there real good. Make sure you got the sides on really good. And then, um, as you see, I have a little bit overhang. I'm not going to really worry about that. So I'm just going to let that go. But before you put a cover on the back part is you need to go ahead and line up and punch the holes. So I'm using my big, big chomper and I'm gonna use the big, the big hole punch on here. And I'm gonna punch the holes. As you see, I got the holes there. And then I'm gonna add the other piece on the back. Okay, got this one for the back. It's gonna go here. And get some glue all over the back. Okay. Give it plenty of adhesive. If you've cut it way too large, then just use your little scissors and cut the edge of it. But if it's just a little overhang, it's all good. It's all good. If you have a little overhang like this, you can trim it. And I'm gonna go ahead and trim that one because I don't want that to hang down that much. So I'm just gonna cut it along. The edge of this. Okay. I'm just gonna make sure I got that straight. Okay, so there we go. Now we wanna make sure we punch our holes. So now you can flip it over and you can line it up through the holes that we've already punched. And there we go. Now we've got our cover. Okay, so let's do a little bit of decorating on here. Um, I just like to do a little bit of layering with some paper. I have some some Halloween stickers I can use. I got some ribbon, I've got some washi, I've got some little um, Halloween stickers. And I've already started decorating on one of them. And, and what I want it to be is like an album where you could put photos and stuff. So maybe you went out and you took pictures of your kids or a family member or a friend or whatever on Halloween and you can post the pictures here. So that's why I'm gonna put little white pages in here. So for this particular one, since I've already got that one started, I like the that it's got this 
super cute spider web on the paper. So I found these cute little wiggly eyed spiders at Michael's and so I'm just going to put some like in the corners. I think that they're so cute. So I'm just going to kind of put them in the corners. Okay. So there. So that's all I will do to that page. That way I can leave a picture or leave a spot for the photo. So on this particular one, I just added some paper and just layered it up and I added a strip of washi tape. So that page is done. So I'm not going to worry about anything else on there because I want it to be not overcrowded. I want it to be kind of simple, but kind of cute. Okay, so I want to put something on the back of this page. So I'm going to see what I've got here on my table that I can use. I think what I'll do here is I might put a pocket and um, let me just see if I can make a pocket. Let's see what I've got over here. I want to use my scraps so I can use the scraps that way I'm not wasting. So let me go ahead and I'm going to cut this down. I can't really give you dimensions on this because I don't know what size of of chipboard book you have purchased or what you're using. So all you need to do is just kind of measure it up in the one that you've chosen. Now this particular one I got it at my goals and it was only five dollars and ninety nine cents and I used the forty percent off coupon. So that is a deal. Okay so let me just see before I go. Um yeah I'm gonna do this side and I'm trying to decide if I want to put, if I want to put some, uh, oh, you know what, here, I like this one. I've got this washi, it's got some bats. So I'm going to go ahead and put some washi tape on the back of here. That way then I can fold it under. And then I'm going to put some glue underneath and I'm going to get this adhered down. And I put the washi on there first so it could be hidden underneath. Put a good amount of, of adhesive. And just kind of layer it down. You can go back through after you've got the basics done on these and add your stickers or whatever you want to do. Um, yeah, or you can just kind of kind of glance through, see what we've got here. Um, yeah. Oh, look here, we've got some sheets of little trim. That's really cute, too. Very, very cute. Oh, we got some stickers up here. Kind of going against what I said about coming back. But I think I'll go ahead and put a few there. I said I will come back and decorate. Well, look at me now. I'm already going for it. So you want to, I don't want this to be too much. I'm just going to make it where it looks kind of simple. Once this dries, what I'll do is I'll put some like, maybe some, um, some cut aparts in there or something like that. That way then whenever, whoever I give this to, they'll be able to, um, use whatever I put in there as decoration. Okay. I'm going to come back to the front because I want to think about that. So here I've got that one. Now I've got this one. And then I'm going to go with, I'm going to see what I can do with these next pages. This one is part of a spider web. It's pretty cute. The other side is a white spider web. And then let's see here. I think I'll mix and match with the colors. Let's go with this one. Okay, so I think what I'll do is just put some white paper with some orange on the background on here. And I think that that will work out okay. You can use your tape gun, your double-sided tape, whatever you want. We just want to be able to layer up your, pa your paper. Okay, I'm going to get some, I'm gonna grab a piece of white paper. And all I do is I kind of just put it over it. And I'll just take my pen or whatever. I've got a handy. And I'll just make a mark. That way I know where to cut. So I'm going to just 
jump over here and cut this all off. That way then I can put it down in the center. There's going to be a place for the photo or whatever whatever is desired on this piece of this page. got that on there and I've got some pretty cute um, got some pretty cute skeletons right there so I'll have to think of what I want to put on there let's go for the back and I bought purchased these little gift bags or these little treat bags at Michael's and so I thought well I'm gonna use one of these and I'm gonna make it like a pocket so what I did is I cut it off and then cut it at a diagonal and then I'm just gonna layer it up here you know what, let me make sure I'm gonna put that on the right page. I think that I'm gonna put it over here because I want it to, I don't want it to, oh, let me see which page will look good. Hmm. Maybe over here, I think I'll do that over here. So I think I'll use my tape of this one. I'm gonna put tape on the back. Does anybody watch Riverdale? It comes on the CW. It came back on last night. It came on tonight. I had to watch it before I started this. Because I get hooked on it on, um, on what's it called? Um, a Netflix. And so, if you haven't watched that, and you kind of like kind of a suspenseful type stuff, then you should watch that. That was pretty good. Um, I don't know. It gets kind of dark, though. So, that's the only thing about it. But, yeah, I had to watch it. First, okay, first show came back on tonight of the next season. Okay, so there, I made myself a little pocket. I'm gonna let that dry before I put anything in there. So let's let that one go for a minute. Let's go ahead and see what I can throw back here on the back. Um, I wanna put some more paper, because of course we want to have pictures. I do have some extra of this black and white would look good, and then I gotta layer it with with uh, white paper for the photo. Okay. okay, so I got that cut. Put that on there. I just wanna make sure that I'm getting it layered up good. So I'm just going to show a couple of these and then I'm going to finish it off camera and I'll come back and show you how I finished it up because it would be real long. I don't want it to be too long for you. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of measure it up like this. I'm going to got my paper trimmer over here. I'm going to trim it up. I made, um, I did a swap with a very sweet lady. Um, her channel or her her Instagram is Mikaboo. Mikaboo, is it Mikaboo32? Uh, anyway, Mika, um, Shamika, she is awesome. But I did a um, Christmas in July swap with her. And so I did a chip book on there as well. And it turned out pretty cute. I love the paper. And it was a doodle bug designs paper. Okay, so getting this layered up. Trying to get it as straight as I can. Oh, here we go. Gotta pull that one off. Just wanna make sure. Okay, so kinda got that okay. It's a little crooked, but I'm not gonna worry about it because I'm gonna decorate it. Got it a little off right here and I don't want to keep pulling it up. Okay, so I'm just going to put my glue on the back, get this adhered down. Making places for the pictures. Okay, so I'm going to finish up the remaining pages off camera and I will come back and show you how I finished putting it together. So I filled up most of my pages. So let me show you what I've got done so far. This is the cover, we're gonna do that together. This is the second page, and I'm not gonna put anything in there yet, but it will fit some cut-aparts. I made a pocket. 
Here's the next page, isn't that so sweet? I love that. And this can be a photo that goes on there. Another place for a photo. And this one, I'm gonna put some uh, cut aparts in here. And I have some like, or some ephemera. I have some like ephemera right here. I can stick a little bit in there. I think it's dried enough so I could put a, a few in there. So I'll be just putting little stuff inside the little, the little uh, pocket. So sweet. I'm just gonna put a couple. And then over here, another place for a picture. Look at that, and that's so cute, y'all. So cute. Picture place. And here we got another place for a picture. Wouldn't that be great for, it's got Boo on there if they're dressed up for Halloween. I might put a few more little stickers on there, but I just wanted to kind of show you just a little bit how to get this going. Isn't that so cute? Now this one right here, show you this one. This one right here, let me see if I can put some of these. Oh, here's a cat. I made the made it a pocket and it's sideways. So I'll be able to put stuff up inside here. So I'll do that like off camera, but I'll be able to put some like something up inside. There may be some washi samples or something like that. Some stickers or whatever. Another place for a photo. Another pocket back here. So I could add, let me see if I got some more stuff that I can add. I got some, some ephemera that I could put back here. So I could go back here. And then this is the back page. So I'll figure out what I want to put there, but I'll do that off camera because I just wanted to not keep this too long. Um, but I do want to show you how I'm going to do the front. Okay, so I'm gonna take the front and I decided that I was gonna layer it with some black. So, let me see if I can cut myself a piece of black. Let me get this out of the way. I don't wanna lose those. I have a mess on my table again, y'all. Okay, so I'm gonna cut that down a little bit more. Don't want it to be, I don't wanna cover up the pumpkins too much. And then, let's see, where'd my pen go? Okay, I'm gonna cut this up. Okay, so I'm gonna give myself, layer this up right here. And then I'll probably put another piece on here, but let me just go with this one first. I'm gonna put probably an orange, or a white and then maybe orange, I don't know. We'll see what I feel like when I put this down. Okay. Hope everybody's had a good day. It was it was a it was cooler here in North Texas. It really was. It was like like in the seventies today. That was beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so I think I'll put layer up some white, and then I'll put some orange. Or maybe I'll put some white and then I'll put some more black. Let's see here. Okay, let's see. Okay, so that will be pretty good if I just, see I just measure it up how big I want it. And then I cut. So they're trying to figure out the, the measurements. And y'all, literally, I probably off camera worked on this for about uh, probably an hour and then got on camera to do this. So really it hasn't taken too long. I already knew what kind of paper I wanted to use. And you know, I've made one of these chipboard albums before. Okay. Layer this up, get it centered. Okay. And then what I wanna use is I have some of these pumpkins and I wanna put the pumpkins on the front. Let me see, there's different shapes in here. So I wanna use the different shapes. 
make it look kind of like a little pumpkin patch. Yeah, I'll probably layer it like that, and then I'll probably have some words up here on the on the top. Okay, so let me see if I can get these down. love these these are so cute now I got these pumpkins at I got them at Walmart that's where I got them so if you like these check out the check out Walmart because they have some pretty cute little stuff in their Halloween section Okay, so let me see what I've got in here. I really want to put some good words in there, so I might. Let's see, let me see what I've got in here. Oh, I've got a happy Halloween. That will look good. Okay, let's go with that. with the cute theme of everything that I have in this book is these cute little spiders. I'm going to put a few of these. It's looking cute already. Just kind of fill it in. Don't overthink it. See, look how sweet. How sweet is that? I like it. the boo crew hey that's pretty cute i think i'll do that because they look like they're gonna scare somebody okay got the boo crew in here and there we go i like that not bad for not not overthinking it i like it okay so now all i'm gonna have to do is I'm going to take the little clips that it came with and let's make sure, I'm hoping that they work okay. Hopefully I didn't load it up too much. I think it'll be okay though. If not, I've got some more of these rings. Make our book. You can put this in any order that you want. Just poke it right through. So leave me a comment below. What do y'all think? I mean, not everybody is like, maybe not everybody celebrates Halloween. Or, or if you don't live in the United States, do y'all celebrate Halloween over um, in England or Ireland or wherever you're from? Do y'all celebrate or what do y'all do for like a fall harvest type thing? Yeah, I'd like to know what everybody celebrates. That'd be cool. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to bring this, the little things around. And y'all, how cute is this little chipboard album? I like it. See? So there we go. So let's just flip through gonna put some some uh, ephemera there or some cut aparts got my pockets got the empty pages uh -huh. there I love them I'm gonna put some stuff in here in the side pocket got another pocket and I'll probably put something back here but I'm not sure what and then there you go you know what the back deserves a pumpkin on the back. Let me see. I like the tall skinny ones. They're pretty cute. 
So I'm gonna give the back one pumpkin. He's kind of like the mascot. Okay. At least I didn't get glue all over everyone on the book. I'm gonna put it in the center. And there you go. See, I didn't overthink it. And it turned out pretty cute, y'all. I'm real happy with it. I think it's a cute. I might add a little bit of ribbon on here, tie some bows on there. In fact, I've got some of this ribbon right here, so I might just put some bows right there. Or maybe not, I'll have to think about it. But yeah, I love the way it turned out. It's super cute, look how thick it is. And it's fun, how fun is that? Okay, y'all, well, I hope that you like this. I know there was kind of like jumping around because it was I didn't want to make this too long, but I hope you have enjoyed this. I hope that maybe you'll invest in a, in a chipboard album. Um, and yeah, and do this too. It's so fun and they're so cute and it'd make a good little gift if you want to give it as a gift or if you want to keep it for your own photos. Just whatever you want to do. So anyway, y'all, there you go. What do you think? I think that they're so cute. Okay, well, I'm going to let y'all go and I hope that you guys have a great night. Bye, y'all.